Hey, what is happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Tips one WWDC has just finished, and um, this is a quick video on the iOS 5 features, which was just released. The other features were iCloud and uh, Mac OS Lion, but those to be done in another video. So, iOS 5, new features were that um, it's a brand new notification, notification system. The old one absolutely sucked, never got what I needed to get, so any uh, like Skype calls never used to come through, or eBay never used to work. So they, they, hopefully they've resolved the situation. Should work. They made a specific designated app for it, and um, so you get your your Canada updates, your mail, just um, uh, a ping towards to your phone, and hopefully it does work. We will see later on when it comes out. So um, even when you're playing during a game or you're texting, it will come up along the top of the phone, as you can see from the photos. Um, these are all from like Engadget, so they've done a great job. Secondly, the uh, the new features are that. It's, there's a magazine stand now in the iBook store, something that wasn't in the original uh, iBooks, but now you can subscribe to these magazines, which Apple have got rights to now. They've, they've spoken to the magazine companies, and uh, you're able to have a look at those. Check it out the picture. Second one is uh, the new keyboard layout um, on the iPad, actually. This is for the iPad. Makes it easier. Something that Windows 8 showed off a few days ago. Uh, so the, the keypad is split on either side, making people, people who have um, smaller width between their thumbs, uh, making it easier for them to type. Uh, also, there's a new camera button. Um, so, well, there's not a new button, but you can use your volume rocker as the uh, camera switch. So, um, touch the uh, the top volume rocker, and you can take a picture with that button from now on. Also, the uh, the picture there's a, a shortcut to the camera, which is on the home screen to the right of the slide to unlock. So, nice and easy, saving time. Apple just making it a lot of things more easier. Another thing which I think is quite cool is iMessage. It's basically BBM for the iPhone. So uh, all those people who've got BlackBerry saying, oh yeah, I love BBM because it's free. It's a load of rubbish now. iMessage is for all iOS devices, iPad, uh, iPod, and uh, iPhone. So no excuses anymore with, um, with that site for BBM users. Um, and also the coolest feature I think is uh, no wires anymore. So if you're singing to iTunes, there is no more wires needed. You can sing your music, your contacts, all over your Wi-Fi, um, um, and you can also update now. So if you're updating to iOS 5, you don't need to up plug into your computer. You can download straight from your phone, but you can do both ways still. So if you prefer not to waste your battery on your phone, then um, then plug into your computer and update that way. So those are the few new features. Something that's uh, pretty cool. No widgets, unfortunately, which is uh, which is a big downfall, I think. Um, Obviously, they want to differentiate from Android, not trying to copy them. But then again, people want that. So it's all up to Apple. Maybe they're saving it for iOS 6. Who knows? They have to keep uh, refreshing things up. So not too much different from the home screen layout. But uh, make sure you check out the pictures and um, check out for more. So if you enjoyed that, make sure you subscribe for the macOS line and iCloud video. So check those out. Um, and for more future uh, video reviews and uh, tech-related videos, gaming reviews as well. Uh, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook to be notified and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. It's your boy for Tips 1. Peace.